All right, The Wager by David Grant. Great book alert. Uh, this is the talk of all the book clubs. This is the talk of the bookstores, uh, at least one amongst many. But this is one of the best books I've read this year. It is also the same author that wrote Killers of the Flower Moon, which I said was one of the best books of last year. Both are movies being made by Martin Scorsese. If you don't know, he is already coming out with Killers of the Flower Moon in October. That movie is almost about to debut. And then The Wager will come out or start production next year. They bought the rights to this book as well, which Leonardo DiCaprio and a shipwreck movie, that's going to be sweet. This book is incredible. Uh, David Grand does a wonderful job of taking real stories, real, real history, and making them feel like a mystery novel that Ag Agatha Christie might write. Um, it unfolds in such a great way that keeps you on the edge of your seat, keeps you interested, keeps you wanting to pay, you know, turn the ne to the next page. This is a story about uh, a mission. The English Navy sends out the fleet of ships to go and steal treasure from a Spanish galleon off the coast of Brazil. To do that, they have to take the fleet down south and around Cape Horn. It's been a while since I read, but I believe it's Cape Horn, which is the area in the world with the worst seas. The, the story that unfolds, they go thousands of miles as a fleet, and what happens is incredible. I mean, they one of the ships crashes. This is, one of the ships in the fleet is called the Wager. They crash on a remote island that has no food source. And what happens is miraculous in some ways on the positive side. And then it also shows the negative side is of the human spirit and what happens when people are backed into a life or death situation. And it follows uh, three main characters. You get Captain David Cheap's perspective. He is the captain of the wager. You get the John Byron character who is 16. He's from an arist aristocratic background pretty level-headed and then you've got John Bulkley who's also on the ship and he's a gunner and then com commander uh, or commodore George Anson is the admiral of the fleet so you also get to know George Anson I'll tell you some facts about uh, Portsmouth and George Anson in just a minute but it's in the 1700s it's one of the uh, the last hundred years it's that decade where you had these beautiful ships I'm going to Boston. I'm going to get to see the, the last, US, it's called the USS Constitution in Boston, which is the last American ship from that time period that still is commissioned. Or it, you can go and see it. Uh, and so they basically commission a, a pirate ship on, on behalf of the English to go and steal this treasure. And it's a covert mission. Nobody's supposed to know about it. They don't have the, the crew. They don't have the enlisted uh, numbers they need in the Navy. It was during a... A terrible time and so they had press gangs that would go into the local bars and just beat people and bring them out to the ships and the conditions that these people sailed under was just like the most brutal you can imagine there was one case in the story there's like a there's like a they're in the middle of a storm with winds at close to 100 miles an hour like a typhoon or something I think is what they call it and these guys climb the masts you know 30 50 feet in the air and are using their their arms because the sails have blown off. They're using their bodies and their arms to create resistance with the wind. And I mean, their their bodies are the sails. I mean, crazy stuff that that I had never heard uh, in, in history. So um, I loved it. I loved it. I loved having the three perspectives, uh, and you will too. Um, David Grand does a great job. There's a quote in there about, uh, it's sort of like his take on the conclusion of this story, which I won't reveal, but it's extraordinary. Empires preserve their power with the stories they tell, but just as important are the stories that they don't. That dark silence. And this is a stain on the English show. I know they're, they've tried to kind of keep this story away, and, and it's not a very flattering story for the English, but David Grant's brought it back out, unfortunately, for them and done a wonderful job. If you love this book, if you've watched it, if you've read it, I mean, um, and you're interested in the movie and all, go to YouTube. There's a 60 Minutes episode of David Grant. It's actually on Paramount Plus. You can find it. He goes back to Wager Island. He, he goes back to Wager Island. You get to see it. Uh, you get to go into his office and you see what his office and his writing area looks like. And then he goes and he shows the logbooks that he studied that are the original logbooks from the archives. He goes and shows that all of the records that he went through. And they're 300-something years old, you know. It's, like, fascinating. Um, 
But him going back to the island and getting to see it modern day was so cool. And he, and he tells how he writes these stories. So that's a great interview. And, um, I mean, it's just up there with it, one of the best books of the year. You know, I've read a lot of books this year. This is just another one that he's done that's just great. I think he also did Lost City of Z. Uh, a little piece of history in Portsmouth to this day. There's a bar called the Anson Bar. And it's named after Commodore George Anson after this mission and his, of course, um, missions later in his career also. But, but he became somewhat of a legend over there, and, and you can still visit that that port and that bar to this day, and see where these ships left out of, uh, and left port. So, I mean, fascinating story. I guess I can tell you, like, I don't know how much does it give away. Uh, let's see. Yeah, court martial. Yeah, so it does tell you. So they split. There's a there's a divide amongst some people on the island, and how they get off the island is amazing. But then they make it back, and in the courtroom court martial drama that happens is just like crazy. That you get that story. Uh, you know, one group of survivors arriving at this time, and then like heralded as heroes, and then a year or two later. Like, this other group of survivors shows up, it just beat to death, saying that the others are lying. I mean, what a story. So go check it out, The Wager, A Tale of Shipwreck, Mutiny, and Murder by David Grant. Excellent book. You will not regret picking this book up.